More on a police shooting. The owners of a dog shot by police say they wish officers had reached for their taser before their gun. The dog died because the owners could not afford the surgery that could have saved his life. Action News reporter Brian Callahan joins us live with more on this story. Brian. Well, Don, the dog's owners are obviously mourning the loss still, but at the same time, they're asking if there was something else the officers could have done before firing the shot that eventually killed this seven-year-old pit bull. This comes as a bill is making its way through the state legislature that aims to do just that by requiring officers to go through training for such encounters. Tank's owners have already set up a small memorial for him here in the backyard of the home. He was shot by Metro officers yesterday morning after they say the seven-year-old pit bull attacked a police canine who was hoping in the search for a car theft suspect in this area. The owners say they don't know who opened the gate to the backyard, but say Tank was likely scared by all of the police activity. Officers say they initially tried to use their batons to separate the dogs. While the owners say they understand the officers were trying to break up the fight, they say they wish the officers had reached for something else between their batons and their guns. I understand why they shot him, but I thought they could have tased him or something. Yeah, I would love to see them try other precautions um, before having to pull the trigger. That bill I mentioned earlier is still making its way through the legislature. In fact, it's slated for a hearing on Tuesday morning. We'll have more on that bill coming up on Action News at 11. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, Channel 13, Action News. Brian, thank you. New on Action News.